Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we are behind the computer once again to talk through a new editing hack that I recently found. If you're a photographer and anything like myself, you probably spend the majority of your days editing. I know I do. I think I always say this, but I think people's perception of photographers is like they're just always on set or they're outside shooting with like clients every single day. I mean, that's definitely realistic for some people, but definitely not myself and definitely not the way that I've kind of crafted my like editing process to this point. So I feel like for me, I'm always sort of looking for new ways to speed that up. And with myself being new to what we're gonna be talking about today, I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions and just kind of walk through this sort of hack to edit your photos in seconds, which I mean, sounds amazing to anyone. So hopefully it's as good as it sounds. So the program is called Imagine AI and what it does is it basically studies the way that you've edited thousands of photos previously and applies those decisions that you've made to new photos that you plug into it. And it edits all of these photos within less than half a second per photo. This whole concept is just kind of crazy to me because it's kind of like you're editing the photos because it's, taking those decisions that you've made, like I said, and applying them to these new photos. So let's talk about how we can get going with this and start it up and edit photos faster than I ever have before. So to have the program be able to study the way you've edited photos is by uploading 3,000 previous edits from your Lightroom Classic catalog. So it's not like you have to kind of create 3,000 new edits, you can go into Lightroom and upload that way. And then it takes 24 hours to kind of do the studying. But since we're sitting down in real time doing this, we can kind of use the existing talent AI profiles that they have. So these are pre-built profiles by really talented photographers that took the process to upload those thousands of images, have it study the way they edit, and allows us to kind of use their decisions and apply it to our photos. But I'm excited to kind of take on different photographers' looks here. The cool thing is that they have an update coming this October where you don't have to have thousands of images is for it to study the way that you've edited, you can just kind of upload one previous preset, answer a few questions, and you're all set, and it will deliver something called light personal AI. So it's just a different, quicker way to go about the way that you've edited previously. So I just went ahead and opened up the program. Right here, like I mentioned, um, you can add your own profile, and if you click on this, you will see the kind of different ways that you can go about this. So like I mentioned, you can use Light Personal AI and you can get started within just a few minutes. Personal AI profile, like I mentioned, that will study the way you previously edited and Talent AI, which we're gonna be using today. So I'm gonna head on over to AI Profiles, head on over to Talent AI Profiles, and then this is where we can kind of see all of the existing ones. And what's really cool is that you can compare styles. So based upon the shoot that I'm gonna be uploading today, I can kind of figure out which of the existing profiles will match. So I'm gonna head on over and just choose a few that kind of describe the shoot that I'm uploading today. I might upload a few different shoots because of how quick it takes, but the first one, these photos of Kaylee that I shot in Los Angeles, and they're of her within this flower field in this bright pink dress. And so I'm just gonna kind of dig into which profile kind of matches that kind of energy. This is not my photo, this is just an example, but to the left is the original photo, and then to the right is this person's edit applied. His name is Michael. Hey, Michael. Um, and I feel like this one might be a little bit too saturated. Like the greens feel really poppy and saturated, which I don't normally go for. So let's go through and compare more styles. Honestly, I'm just gonna kind of go through and click a ton. I'm like, why don't I click all of them, honestly? We can compare them all together and find out which one we want applied to my photo set, but because it takes so quick, we can kind of try a bunch of different ones. Okay, okay, I kind of like this one. I'm not really aiming for a black and white feel for these, but this is a really good photo to reference because my photos are pretty green as well, so I can kind of see how they're dealing with it. This is hard. Maybe I shouldn't have clicked all of them because now I'm struggling to choose one. Let's go with this one. It's called Natural Feel. So I'm going to click on Use to Edit. And then it just prompts me with the question here, which type of photos will be most common in this project? 
So we have wedding, portraits, family. My photos from this shoot are portraits, so I'm gonna click on that. And then here's where it prompts you to choose a Lightroom Classic catalog to upload. And if you don't know how to do this, I'm gonna walk you through how to do it right now. So all you have to do is head on over to Lightroom Classic. You're gonna go to File, New Catalog, specify the name, location of the new catalog, and then click Save or Create. And then it'll kind of like shut down for a second, and then you reopen it, and then click that catalog and import photos from wherever they previously are. And then you're just gonna make sure that Lightroom is closed and then head back on over to Imagine AI. And then here I'm just gonna browse and select where my Lightroom catalog is. So it's in this folder called Kaylee. And this may look a little intimidating, but it's really pretty simple. You're just gonna click on where all the photos are, which is right here under this folder. And you can just head on over to upload Load, but if you want to take a peek at the left side, you can kind of use additional AI tools. There's crop, straighten, and subject mask. So I'm going to head on over to upload. You can see the progress that it's making in the top right here. This is really weird because I am just someone who is just always very in control of my editing. Like I never outsource my editing. I just do it all myself. But what's really cool, obviously, is if you create your own profile, it's like, you know, you're still editing it, which is awesome. All right. So I just took the time to upload all of my photos and right here we can kind of see the progression. So it's reviewed the photos and now it's taking the time to edit them. The really cool thing too about this program is they also have Imagine Culling. And if you're unfamiliar with what culling is, it's basically just like when you get home from a shoot and you're kind of going through and making your selects and taking away any images that are blurry, out of focus, or just like unwanted images that you don't feel like are worth delivering to your client. So they leverage AI to be able to get rid of those photos for you so they can get rid of images that are duplicates or even recognize if your model is blinking, which is literally insane because sometimes I feel like I can't even tell. I like have to zoom in. I'm like, are their eyes closed? Are they blinking? It is in beta right now, but it is still 100% free for you to use and try out. That was the perfect little segue because now the photos are edited and now I can head on over here to download to review them. So I'm just gonna click on that. and we. Just just head on over to download edits and here we can see kind of the edit being applied before our eyes right now what's also really cool is obviously you still have access to the raw file so you can kind of go in here and tweak it yourself still. I feel like a lot of these images are a little bit more blue than I might have edited them. I really like everything else, so I might just go in and increase the temperature a bit. Although I do really like these, I am someone who makes multiple edits per photo. So what I'm gonna do is create a whole other catalog and then choose a different talent AI profile and see what else it could do because I just wanna see these photos with another edit applied. And because it takes so fast, I'm like, might as well do it again. So we're back in Imagine AI. I have all of the talent profiles once again laid out here. And now that I am looking at the one that I use, it does feel a little bit cooler toned. So let's try to do something that's more warmer and just feels like the sun is shining. Because I did shoot these photos when it was pretty cloudy out. And so to kind of combat that, we can select something that feels warmer and more inviting. I think I'm going to go with Tierra here. I feel like it feels like inviting. It feels like a little bit vintage as well and I feel like this will be a good one to use with the photos that I've selected. Right, we're gonna go to use to edit and upload those once again and now we just wait. So the editing is now complete. We can head on over to download to review. Okay and these are so much more of what I was imagining for this shoot. We were in a flower field, the vibes were amazing, Kaylee was in this awesome dress, and I feel like I want the edit to just enhance all of those things, and this one definitely does a great job at that. Maybe down below you guys can let me know, do you prefer the first edit that was a little bit more cool and clean, or do you like this one that feels a little bit more faded and vintage and warm? I think I'm gonna have to say this one, but don't let that deter you. <laughs> let me know in the comments. All right, so there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed all of those edits and also just learning about Imagine AI today and learned a thing or two about how, you know, you can speed up your own process and avoid just the daunting part of being a photographer that is just the culling and the editing of it all. Even if you can't see yourself, you know, using AI within your day-to-day -day process, why not just just like try it out. I feel like I'm always sort of open to where technology is going because it's 
it can be a little scary, but also I feel like as a photographer, my job in a way is to kind of seek these things out and how I can use them to leverage my own process. And while I still want to be in control of my edit, little tools like this are really handy in having myself be able to kind of take on more, more clients, more projects, more shoots, because at the end of the day, I just kind of want to be out there shooting, but you know, editing kind of gets in the way sometimes. But yeah, if you guys want to try this out for yourselves, I am giving you guys 1,500 free edits with Imagine AI. Just head on over to the description down below, click the link and check it out for yourself. But yeah, huge thank you to Imagine AI for sponsoring today's video and making it happen. But with all that, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.